Mr. Yap, Mr. Yap, what was the game about? I thought I'm here to help you in an experiment. Yes, we are. Today, we will explore how this hoverball glides effortlessly across the ground, just like a hovercraft. A hoverball is similar to a hovercraft. Really? Come, let's find out. Meet the hovercraft. It's like the superhero of vehicles. Gliding effortlessly over water, ice, and land. It can rescue people, deliver goods, and tackle tough surfaces with ease. Both the hoverboard and hovercraft glide smoothly because of two key factors. Lift, which reduces friction in a clever way, and thrust that drives them forward. It's tough, isn't it? Yes. That's because of friction. Friction is the force that resists motion between two surfaces. Remember the hoverboard? Oh, yes. It glides easily because there is a thin cushion of air underneath it. This separates the hoverboard from the ground, which drastically reduces friction. So, a hovercraft works just like a giant hoverboard? Exactly. Let me explain more using this mini hovercraft. A powerful fan sucks in air and pushes it downwards through a flexible skirt that runs along the bottom of the hovercraft. This creates a pressurised air cushion trapped between the skirt and the ground. Now, let me demonstrate. Remember, air pressure pushes in all directions. When the air trapped beneath the hovercraft is at a higher pressure than the surrounding air, it pushes the craft up, counteracting gravitational force and creating lift. The skirt plays a crucial role. It's flexible enough to glide smoothly over uneven surfaces, but strong enough to maintain the air cushion intact. Without it, there is no smooth floating. Wait, lift is just one part of the equation. Now, let's talk about thrust. The real hovercraft uses another fan, or sometimes a propeller that pushes air backwards. This creates a thrust force in the opposite direction, propelling the hovercraft forward. Remember Newton's third law? Yes, I do. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. I watched that video of yours on ETD to go. You are right. Let's continue. The orange fan creates the lift and air cushion, while the fan at the back propels the craft forward. So the next time you are playing the hoverball, remember you are experiencing the physics that keeps the hovercraft floating. 